Welcome to Knockbar Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh, and today we're here to react to episode 14 of Fear the Walking Dead. It is Divine Providence. Whew. Read the synopsis line. Synopsis? As the battle for the tower heats up, Alicia brings the fight to Strand's front door. Here's what I'm concerned about just by that one line. Mm. As the battle heats up? No. This should be the battle. Should be. Shouldn't be heating up. Like, let's get into it. Let's get it over with. Well, yeah. Why is she going to the tower? I mean, we saw it in the teaser trailer that she gets inside. She's chilling with Strand. What, what is she? A, a, she a divergence? Two things that I that I have questions for you on. Yeah. One, and you can answer these back to back. Mm -hmm. Well, you will. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Uh, is the tower going to be? Are we going to be done with the tower after this episode? And two, is Charlie going to die this episode? Question one, the tower? No, the tower is not going to be done after this episode. I th I feel the tower is not going to be done until the final episode of the God, season. dude. <laughs> that, that's just my opinion right now. Yeah. Charlie? Um, I don't even know if we'll see her. If we do, um, she's, like, not, she's not doing well. No. Um, no. I, I, I think... Ooh, I wonder if Charlie and Alicia will talk. That's what I'm saying. That's uh, what I'm thinking. And uh -huh. that's the only reason why I asked it. Because uh -huh. Alicia's going to be in the tower. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think once the battle starts, because I we've seen shots of this in the trailer. Like, a lot of stuff has happened. I expect an action-packed episode. Yeah, I, I think she's there, and then and, they're going to sneak their way in. And what I'm saying is, if it's action-packed, at one point we're going to get a scene with Alicia running into where Charlie's at. Possibly. I just see this, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just predicting. Probably wrong. That it's going to be a scene where Alicia realizes she, this, this, she's going to be in such dire condition mm -hmm. that she's going to know it's the last time she's going to talk to her. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. I can see that too. Yeah, for sure. This episode is going to be interesting. Um, you know, I, I, my only, my biggest fear right now is, is Daniel. Um, Really? When Daniel, well, you're he, worried about Daniel. I'm worried. Well, I'm worried about everyone, but I'm just. I'm, I get I'm, you. I'm very concerned with Daniel, though, just because in his mind, Ophelia is in there, and Strand has. I it. just hate that storyline. It's gonna. It's gonna I fill really him do. with rage, and when it when it finds out he doesn't, he's it, do you, it's gonna he's gonna break. Do you think it takes away from the Strand versus Alicia storyline, though? Right, like it overshadows that because now we have to deal with Daniel doing his thing depends on how they do it yeah you know if, if they if they quickly go through it i'll, I'll be kind of upset that they're yeah. gonna you know shy away from it because that's a big that's a big storyline right though for daniel thinking that but i think they're gonna really focus on alicia and strand but they um, should they should and i think with maybe alicia talking with strand it's either going to give her the confidence to do what she needs to do or realize in her mind yeah i can't kill him so let's bring this back to daniel who tells daniel is it Daniel running into Strand and Strand saying, Daniel, she's not, she's dead? Or is it Alicia, you know? Because Alicia doesn't really know what, what's going on. Uh, I don't know. Unless Luciana has talked to Alicia and Alicia's playing Daniel's fiddle as well. No one knows what, Ali what Luciana has done except for Wes. So unless Wes says something to Alicia about Daniel, I don't know. And there's not enough time to do that. There's not enough time, and he's kind of all in with Strand anyway. So. Yeah, well, let's find out, guys. We have questions, and we're going to hopefully get answers. Let's do it. Let's Episode do it. 14, guys. Let's roll it. If this is Wes. Strand. Nope. It's the music. Oh, yeah. His daily, his daily morning routine. Get up. I'm going to take myself a little shave action. Yes. Garçon, bring me a spritzer with <laughs> ice. <laughs> and don't forget my grapes. Oh, he doesn't let somebody do it for him? Oh. I thought you were supposed to be being pampered. Yeah, that's supposed to be power. Yeah, have somebody so, do it for you. Alicia's here for you. What? Alicia's here? Already? Divine Providence. And the title of the episode. <laughs> All right, we're going right into it. She didn't come alone. The gang's all here. Ring, ring. To what do we owe the pleasure, Alicia? I think you. There's Jacob, oh Rabbi God. Jacob. You Finally. Company. Yet Morgan isn't amongst it. Does he plan on making a grand entrance or something? Somewhere safe with the baby. Somewhere where you won't find him. Leave it to a coward to run for the hills. 
Jones. So talk. Not like this. Face to face. Come inside. Come have a drink with me. Have a drink with me. Ah! <laughs> Nailed it. Is this you waving the white flag? How can you guarantee your safety to get out? You know what, though? I think he, I, he would never make a move he has on a, her. Well, I yeah. never. Yeah. No, not Alicia. One drink. Let's hope you're right, but I don't think she. I don't think you kill her. I've got it covered. Oh Jesus! This is exactly what he wanted. He yeah. wanted alone time with her. He wanted to talk to her. Try to talk her out. Mm -hmm. There's something you want to say? You drove Alicia away for a reason. You let her in here, you could lose everything you've built. I won't. I assure you. He. <laughs> He wants to rub it in her face that he's You'll built this. You'll have to excuse them. Yeah. We take security quite seriously around here. Daniel. Why is, did he go with it? We weren't invited. The agreement was for you and you only. I didn't ask him to come. I want to see Ophelia. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. You can pretend to be outraged all you want, Alicia, but at the end of the day, you, Morgan, and Lucy, you're just like Victor. At least he owns the shit he does. You wouldn't be alive if it weren't for me. Ooh. You still have it. It still means something to you. Do you remember what you said when you gave it to me back at Lawton? You said you needed to forget who you were for you, for me, for all of us. Mm hmm. That's what you said. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Although I'd argue that I didn't forget who I was, I embraced it. Do you have to wear the fucking sword? <laughs> you won't be running this place after today. This isn't about today. Then what is it about? Tomorrow. Why are you going to want to run the place? Everything that I've done since that last night at Lawton, I've done with hopes that it would lead us here. To what? And being surrounded by massive amounts of radiation. Yeah, that's a great place to live. Mm-hmm. What is that? The generator's starting. Why? To power the beacon. To draw the dead. To kill your army. <laughs> Why would you want to lead thousands of radiated walkers to your home that you love. When I first lit that beacon, I did it to keep you out. Now it's to keep you in. Yeah, those walkers are far more deadly. Far more deadly. And you're gonna bring them to your your loving tower. And you saw how many there were. You think that's gonna have oh, like I saw a piece of You think that's gonna hold the gate? Or the walls? No. Is this a Wes episode? I like think it. Wes, I'm calling it now, when he said, which one do I believe, or mm -hmm. whatever line he said, I guarantee you he turns on Victor. Strand. Yeah. And then, take him to the roof. That's fucked. Are you sure? Ooh. An example must be made. How do they not I'm see? <laughs> How do the guards don't see that she has a weapon? Turn off the light. Turn off the light! You do this, her entire army will wipe us out. Everything I built will be gone. Oh, barely a scratch. You're taking an elevator straight to the floor. So are all 50 on that floor? Mm-hmm. I'll kill you. You can't stop what's coming. You'd rather die than give this place up. I'm doing this for your own good. No, you're not. You're doing this for yourself. Not the elevator for round. You're doing what Teddy did, locking me up while you destroy the things I care about. And I'm going to tell you the same thing I told him. I'm not making the world the way you want it to be. What do you mean? Do I look like I've got a lot of time left? Let's tell me about the fevers, but we have antibiotics, medicine, a fully stocked infirmary. Yeah, it's not gonna work. How do you know? Because I've tried everything. Well, we'll find a way to stop it. June, she can figure it out. No, she won't. He cares a lot about her. He does. <laughs> I kind of, I really like that. Turn up the light. And I'll call up the army. You have my word. That's not good enough. Then what will be enough? Stay. Oh, for fuck. Here. In the tower with me. I told you I'm running out. Then give me what you have left. Okay, we'll take her downstairs. That's not necessary. We made an agreement. What the hell are you talking about? I agreed to turn off the light in exchange for a ceasefire. Uh, she's playing you. Can't you see that? <laughs> They've got us surrounded. The second you turn that light off, we're done. No, we're not. How do you know? 
because she also agreed to live in the tower with me. I can't let you do this. Oh. This makes no sense. She's your blind spot. Somebody's got to. So you're gonna kill him? If you won't do it, I will. No, we can't trust your instincts, Strand. Not anymore. We. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> it's over. For the both of you. So he's now the villain. <sighs> I should have never let you in here. Hey, get him. Oh! Well, Wes kind of has a... He kind of has a bulletproof vest on in a sense, I think. Or was that just a pack? I think that was an arm shot. Ah. Uh. So now he's going to hurry and turn off the light. <clears throat> Strand is no longer the villain. Get the roof thrown. We may have one ally left. Daniel. Yeah. Kill the old man. What? Strand said that. Strand's not in charge anymore. Wes, seriously? Got it handled. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Can't take any chances, right? Bye bye. <laughs> That's so much. Dude. You know why this is happening to you? When you handcuff a person, you put their hands in the back, not the front. Do you know why this is happening to you? That's sick. <laughs> so lethal. <laughs> it, do, it does not make any sense. Daniel, or he wants to kill Daniel now? Who? Wes? W Wes. I, I know. That makes no sense. Uh, Wes turning on Strand makes no sense. No, stop, stop. He's here to help. No, I know how it sounds. Yeah. Like he's lying to us. Beacon light is drawing a herd here. If we don't turn it off, everyone out there is going to die. So call off your dogs. They're no longer my dogs. You remember what happened in Mexico? Strand helped you search for her. He was going to reunite you, but... It's true. She got sick. You didn't get there in time. Ophelia was sick, yes. But Strand never reunited us. We never found her. Because he kept lying. Ophelia's alive. The top. The rooftop. He's going to tell him. The rooftop. So they can get up there and turn it off. Now it makes more sense for him to do this. She's on the top floor. Because he that's the way he is. Yeah. Stupid freaking storyline. Yeah, it gets him to the roof or he didn't really say the roof, he just said the top penthouse. Well, now I ain't got another weapon. Alicia. She's about to pass out. I mean you must think I'm a monster. But I'm the same man I've always been. I've just stopped apologizing for it. Do you actually believe? I do. He wants to prove so much, and he—it's like he needs Alicia's like acceptance of it. Why did she get sick all of a sudden? Well, it's starting to become—it's night. She said her fever comes mm. back at night. You want your daughter? Well, there she is. Show me. I think it's Charlie. It is Charlie. Fuck. It's not my daughter. Where is she? Ophelia died in Mexico, Daniel. Luciana lied to you the same reason I did. So you had something to fight for. Daniel. You're always trying to fool people. I'm trying to save the closest thing that I have to a daughter. Surely you can understand that, Daniel. Ophelia's gone. He called her Alicia the closest. That, that's awesome. Charlie. She means something to you. She's sick. She doesn't have much time left. Maybe you can do for her what you couldn't for Ophelia. You could be there for her. Daniel? Oh, look, Charlie, I don't want you to look at me. I don't want this to be what you remember. Love me. Be the man you wanted Ophelia to see. Yeah, I got a little teary-eyed there. Mm -hmm. That. <sighs> yeah. Pause the camera. Easy now. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, that was brutal. That was tough. I liked it. I, I loved the way they did it. He would have killed me if you hadn't appealed to his better angels. Yes, he would have. <laughs> Absolutely. Have Radiation exposure. But that doesn't mean that... It's worse than what you were exposed to. We think it was alpha particles from the same walkers that are headed here. <laughs> Even in Grace, 
Say she may only have a couple weeks left. Jesus. It, it's he's so contradicting himself. Yeah. You were willing to to bring thousands of those alpha particle walkers to your front door, the same ones that are killing Charlie. I'm so sorry I'm not her. Oh, don't be. Don't be. Okay. <laughs> you helped me remember why I wanted to find her before she died, Philly. And, you know, being with you, it's helping me to think more clearly. <laughs> CS grenade, is that tear gas? I'm assuming so. I think so, yeah. We're flying blind here, sir. None as blind as they are. <laughs> There's not a ventilation system at all. Dude, use your sword to deflect the bullets. <laughs> <laughs> like, why aren't you using your sword? He's not Obi-Wan Kenobi here. Well, no one is Obi-Wan Kenobi besides oh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> Tear gas, Victor. I know you want to believe the best in our Victor. I did too. But we are where we are. You have to protect what you've built here. It's honest. It's real. It, it doesn't try to be something that's not possible. Do not throw it all away for her. I'm not really buying Wes as like any type of villain. No. Like, it's not. I'm not buying it. I didn't think you'd come back for me. Of course I would. Last time I was in a fog like this, I was like, well, he would have left me out there. I gave him plenty of reasons to, but he didn't. Because he knew I was trying to find you. And then you fucking killed him. And then so you killed him. That whole speech means nothing. You fucking killed Will because you wanted to hurt Alicia. That whole speech meant nothing. Like, <laughs> why did Wes not just kill Strand in in the room? What do you have? No, Maybe don't stand right in front of the door because they could shoot right through it. <laughs> <laughs> don't stand in front of the door that they could shoot through. Will made me realize something that I should have told you a long time ago. What? But I love you, Alicia. The closest thing to family that I have left. That's what this was about. That's what it was always about. I found this in her bag. <sighs> what is that? A transmitter. Now, out of all the things you could have brought in with you, why that? I brought it from the bunker. I wanted to broadcast a message from the roof. And they thought they could find that with Padre. There is no Padre. At least not out there. So I thought I could use the transmitter. So you could build Padre here. This place will live long after I'm gone. This is a complete flip She's of what the lying. fuck this whole <laughs> I know. arc has like been about. I know. Man. No. If you end the episode like this, I'm gonna. Oh, shit. Drop it. You seriously shot Daniel? Yes. Please. Can't let you do it. Wes's arc is so stupid. It makes I no sense. Your life once. We both did. You believed in us once before, and I'm just asking you to do the same thing. <laughs> With the fucking sword, dude. <laughs> wow. His story arc was Why would pointless. You do that? The same reason I built the tower the way I did. So you wouldn't have to. How about you fucking help Daniel? Hopefully it's just a... Hopefully it's not a mortal wound. Uh, does she... Does she want to kill Strand now because of that? This uh, is stupid, man. I don't know, man. Wes's arc meant nothing. It was the stupidest thing. There's an thing. Alpha, alpha particle. Well, just don't well, get the blood on you. What's going on? Other rangers. On the roof! The walkers are almost here. Turn it off. I'll give them as much cover as I can. What are you waiting for? Turn it off! You're never gonna forgive me, are you? What? What are you talking about? He's not gonna let her do it. <laughs> It was Ooh. never going to be enough. It was never going to make you love me. It could have, but you ruined it. By what you did to Wes. I didn't have a choice. Of course you did. You always do. And you always.
always make the wrong one! She already broke one of the strings, I think. So the light could come down at any time. The person you used to be, the person you said you wanted to forget, that was never you. Yeah, it's coming down. Bye bye. And there's a fire. Oh. Uh, no, it'll light on fire. Will it light on fire? Yep. This is Alicia Clark. If you're listening to this, Madison's going to hear this. You're not alone. The place you've been looking for, the place you've heard about, Padre. It's here. 94 degrees, 59 minutes, 25.7 seconds west. We're going to build the new home you've been looking for. Oh my God. We can help you. In the middle of a freaking fa nuclear fallout. We're going to need a little help from you. They can't stop it. Because guess what's on the roof? Through the whole building. Fuel. Just end it. Well, we just watched the next episode teaser. We won't mention anything on that for spoiler reasons. Um... I don't know how many episodes it's been of us just sitting here like this. It's really frustrating. <laughs> I don't... I did not like that episode at all. There were some good moments in there. There were, there were some good moments. Probably for me, the best moment was Charlie and Daniel and how they did the Philia Daniel yeah. story. Like, yes, we hated what they were doing, but it actually turned out to be good. Um, the overall story of that episode is so stupid. Wes's story was absolutely the dumbest thing I've seen. Dumb. He's not a villain. And he was willing to kill Daniel and kill Alicia like that. Yeah, but then Alicia's pissed off at Strand for Strand killing him. And, and, the, and the 180 that Strand has now done, and his, his excuse was, I wanted to show you. Which has been his mo the whole time, but it kind of you were throwing people off of a roof and killing them. Exactly, I think that line kind of goes back to um, when they were in Lawton, when uh, when Ginny was having them, you know, search that building or whatever, and Strand just straight up killed, killed that, that one dude to survive. But he's yeah. always done whatever he can to Correct. survive, and even Alicia yeah. said that to him when he wouldn't turn off the light. Um, and they, be, and they, and they yeah, fought like, yeah. she's right. Like you'll do anything you can to survive. And he, but this is what pisses me off the most, right? We went the whole episode with them rekindling their, their relationship. They're good now. And then all of a sudden we get to the moment where we're going to turn off the light and boom, we have a 180 again, yeah. again. Yeah. I don't know. Completely fucking ridiculous. Yeah. It's, it doesn't make sense. Like, you can kind of think, oh, Strand's coming back to the light side now, and then he, he's wanted to do this to, you know, prove to Alicia that he he is a better man, he is the man. You know, he, he said he doesn't apologize for anything that he did, right? So now he gets to the point of turning the light off, and he's like, you're never going to forgive me for all of this, are you? Well, so, oh, I, love, I love the bullshit you know? like, speech that he gave about Will yeah. <laughs> in the stairway. <laughs> After I killed his ass. When you killed him. Yeah, you killed him. Why? So, so, part, so I guess part of what he said at the top might have been true. She's never going to forgive him. Right. Maybe that's true, okay? Maybe. But now you're willing to kill everyone. It doesn't. Because it, you feel that. Well, like, <laughs> oh, I'm yawning and, because it's so boring. And Alicia being pissed off that Strand killed Wes is is bullshit too, because the dude was literally seconds from killing you. Yeah, and and that's kind of the one thing that Strand kind of mentioned was he was doing it in a way to where Alicia wouldn't have to do these evil type things because he knows that she wouldn't do it, you know. But that's still no excuse. I mean, look at everything Strand has done. He has killed innocent people but he wants to preserve that tower for the future think about when you were going through searching for the how many people you threw off the roof that you found walkie talkies in what what and here's another thing that's bullshit because like, they were talking to morgan because they wanted to leave because they wanted a better life than what is in the tower 
Alicia wants to turn the tower into Padre. That is the stupidest That's what pissed me off the most about this episode. You hook up a radio. You just gave a ton of people, innocent people, Mm -hmm. bad people, whatever. You gave a bunch of survivors coordinates to a tower that literally has infected nuclear walker, radiated walkers surrounding it. Thousands. But first, I need your help. Right. And now... There's going to be a fire. We won't know if it's going to take the whole tower or not. We'll have to find out for the next episode. But I'm assuming, because of what Strand said, it's going to spread. So by the time any of these people are here, that thing's going to be on fire. There's and you sent be, them to a you sent them, they sent to, them to, the, to a death trap. Yeah, with thousands of radiated thousands thousands of radiated highly radiated walkers. You just put that message out there for whoever hears it. They're going to come there and find out. Well, Alicia Clark, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> for giving us this message that didn't turn out to be true. You know, the only thing I take, the only thing I hope from that message is that, uh, that Madison, that Madison hear, heard it. Madison hears I it think that's the only reason why the Clark was thrown in there. I am Alicia Clark. Because honestly, Morgan did, at this point, Morgan did that too when his message. But at this but, point, yeah. what does a last name matter? Doesn't. Yeah. I mean, you're used to saying that. Right. You know, but. I get you. I get what you're saying, though. I'm kind of going back to like season four, or season five, the when Morgan was on the table. This is Morgan Jones. Or did he say Morgan Jones or just Morgan? I thought he said Morgan Jones. Maybe yeah, I think he said Morgan Jones. Yeah. But. So, but I get what you're saying. Like, yeah, guys, uh, I, I really hope the next episode, which is Fear's 100th episode, is better. And was and, it just me, or was Daniel holding his heart? Like that literally looked like the bullet went through his it, heart. It seemed like the shoulder, but he, his hand was like this. The hole was right here. Yeah, but your heart is really more closer here, center. But I get what you, I get what you mean. I don't know. I hope it's not mortal. It's not. You know, you get shot here. Well, in your heart, you're done. You, yeah, you're yeah. not going to walk out and warn people. Get in the that's, tower. That's true. <laughs> so I mean, it's. I uh, it was not a great a good app i would i couldn't even say great i can't say good it was here's, here, frustrating here's not, charlie's dying she's right? dying she's but, dying but yep she'll be gone probably by season's end charlie's dying look i'm glad daniel didn't die yeah. I, i'm happy about that i just mm-hmm. she'll she'll be gone uh, by season's what end. what a frustrating episode it was frustrating guys well, we hope you enjoyed the reaction um i know there was a lot of parts in there that we didn't comment on just because we were baffled by what's going on. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if this might be a shorter reaction when I get done editing it or not. But um, yeah, this is going to be an interesting. I'm going to be infuriating, infuriated as I rewatch this while I'm editing it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for you. So, once again, if you enjoyed, leave the video a like, subscribe. Let us know in the comments your thoughts of this episode. And uh, let's just hope the 100th episode, episode 15, is, is a turning vastly point. better. And we will see Madison in this episode and for the rest of the season for whatever they're planning on doing with her, bringing her back. All right, guys. Hope you have a better day, a better night. And um, we'll see you next time. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're in Predation. We're out. out.